the second box. Probably the last of this. I'm gonna save the rest of my case. But, uh. Wow, come on. Wow, the seal is so strong. <laughs> Man, what the hell? I did count. Last box I opened, I had 41, 41 rares and mythics. Oh, that's weird. Is that always how it is? That's kind of strange. This stack is like definitely built taller. One, two. 30, is that it? Okay, this time I'm gonna move a little, a little quicker. The last video. Lashweed Lurker, our first list card. See a lot of that. Akiri. Let's keep that in the stack. Yeah, I think I think these packs. I think the set set boosters are. Uh, they're here to stay for sure. There we go. and fabricate from M10. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Let me get all on there. Bail off. Oof. Rune crap. Oh, I swear I thought. Do that again. Ooh, Nahiri, nice. Yeah, there's some pretty sweet cards in this set, but it doesn't feel like it's going to hold well. I don't know. It's hard to say. Always hard to say. Ooh, I like that. Alternate. Rune Crab. Just feels like this set's a little thin. Um, it does have some cool stuff. I think the land cycle's good, though, obviously. Adjust the brightness a little bit. Tweak the brightness down a little bit. Yeah, it's um, it's 
Interesting, the, uh, I have not even opened a regular booster yet of this box, of this set. And um, I'm not sure I'm going to. Between the, between the collector's boxes and these, it's kind of, kind of done. Rune Crab. Luminarch, it's good. Leyline. No priest foil. Yeah, when you get three rares in a pack, I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how people are going to take any boosters going forward. Clear water. And beseech the queen. has to really focus on the player base. Uh, I'm worried that the pendulum is swinging too far towards collector rather than player. And as they have to lash out, that's cool. Cool looking. Um, they have to really focus gameplay and supporting the player base. I don't mind that they're, they're making a lot of cards that need to be banned. I think some people will react to that. I get it that more have been banned recently than in a long time, but I actually think that's a, in a way a good thing because um, you know, they're pushing the boundaries on stuff. They're seeing what's going to work, what, you know, just trying stuff. Oh, there we go. I'm trying stuff that works, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. They if they need to, you know, make some mistakes and just to see if, what, what happens if they turn the power up and down and try different strategies on card design and mechanics, I think it's okay. I, I don't really, the banning doesn't bother me at all. If, in fact, I think they should be doing it more frequently, if anything, um, you know, tweaking the, tweaking it so that it's more fun, it's more competitive, um, more interactive. That's okay with me. I think I think that just shows that they're trying hard to come up with new strategies and, and new gameplay, and that's good. Some people will say, oh, it's, you know, they're not playtesting enough. Well, I mean, there's no way they could playtest. Oh, man, they got my heart cards busted. Um, there's no way they could playtest it enough. I mean, we have millions of people playing it. It's not the, it's not the same. I get they they should play test it some, but I think it's it's okay to release stuff and then if they got to ban it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. That's a great card. Um, that's that's the most valuable card in the set right now. Yeah, if they have to ban stuff, then ban it. Um, keep trying. You know, keep pushing the envelope on design, game design, mechanics, and all that stuff. Card, power, whatever. It's not that, it's not that big of a deal if they have to ban stuff. Because it can always be unbanned. It's not a big deal. Now, if you're trying to invest in cards, singles, which is, oh, nice. Draw me your Trying to invest in singles and stuff, and you're picking them up early. And like, you know, that's always that's a tough game. I don't, I don't recommend it at all. It's um, you know, it's the deep end of the swimming pool, and it's easy to get messed up there. So look at that, nice construct. 
Um, yeah, you gotta be really careful with stuff like that. And it's not worth it. Like, and it's not their job to protect your investment in terms of speculating on cards. Uh, I think their job is to make the game fun. And that's okay if, if you know, if they have to make changes. Nimble Island. Oh. <laughs> okay. And there's that. That's cool looking. Yeah. Support the player base. Support the game. Make the game fun. Make the game interactive. Like, you know, the things they would do, it. like the thing they did with Jumpstart, Jumpstart is fantastic. Like, that is a fantastic idea. And I think that should be something they really push on. Those types of ideas are fantastic. So, um, you know, stuff like that, I think, show that they're trying pretty hard to bring people in and, and do a good job doing it while they're, ooh, nice, little log. Um, so yeah, like they used to give out starter decks, you know, LGSs to kids. I think that's great. They should keep doing that. And in fact, they should make that in the same vein as Jumpstart. That'd be, that'd be great. Why don't they do it? That's a nice car. Jumpstart, definitely worth developing further. Commander Legends, that's, I think that's pretty awesome. That's the cards I've seen out of there. Commander Legends, that's another great idea. You know, good, finally they're acknowledging the Commander space and you know, I'll have more to say on that, but that's smart. Miss uh okay. okay, let's see what we get here. Horizon canopy, nice. Also off center though. Weird. I wonder why they're having such a hard time with this cut. Cool. All right. That's it. Well, actually, I want to do one thing. One thing. I just want to compare something for you guys. So not looking at the list. This is the rare and mythic. One, two, three. Thirty-eight. Oh, that's not bad. All right, guys, take it easy.